She's a world-class hockey player with four Olympic medals. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Jennifer Botterill. You've competed at four Olympics, have three golds to show for it, and are also a world champion. Now, does any one of these events mean more to you than the others? I definitely think Vancouver um, is the most meaningful. And every Olympic Games or every international tournament, anytime you get to put on the Canadian jersey, it's amazingly special. But, you know, the chance to play in our home country and have the support from everyone was Truly wonderful. I will have to ask about the pressure of competing in the Olympics. How do you deal with that? As an athlete, it was about staying focused. If you're in the crowd in front of 20,000 people and you know how many millions of people are watching at home, that could get a little overwhelming. So even when you're standing in the hallway, you've got your jerseys on, you're about to hit the ice for the gold medal game. I mean, you take in that energy, but you're also just focused on that shift and when you hit the ice and sort of bringing it back to the basics and the little things. How did the Canadian Olympic women's team train for the Olympics this year? It was very intense and, you know, in the end, I think that that's perhaps what made it even more rewarding for us, but there's a lot of hours that go into it. And we started in the spring and we had what we called a boot camp. And um, so it was basically volume and intensity for three weeks straight. So we would get up, we'd go running at seven in the morning. We'd um, usually then we'd do off ice warm up, which is about an hour of basically sprints and dynamic warm up on the soccer field. Then we'd go on the ice for about an hour and a half. We would do off ice shooting. We'd have afternoon workouts, whether it's weight sessions, cardios, we do power strength. Um, and then in the evenings we do something different, whether it's yoga or kickboxing. Where do you foresee the future of women's hockey worldwide? The level of play has improved drastically over the last 10 or 12 years. And even, you know, there, there are lopsided scores in men's hockey, whether it's the World Junior Tournament or the Olympics. So it seems to be this sort of stigma that's attached with women's hockey. Um, but I also think people need to be patient and that it takes time for a sport to develop and for the other countries to sort of give females the same opportunities that we're fortunate enough to have here. Thank you very much. Thank you.